Sasha with Vanessa Technologies. Today we're going to be using our product Pipe Seal. It's a two-part epoxy product designed to fix leaks in pipes. Um, today we're going to be using this three-quarter inch copper pipe and we're going to be using the Pipe Seal product um, to fill the quarter inch, about a quarter inch hole. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the Pipe Seal from its packaging. I'm just going to tear off the corner. And as you can see, the gray part is the resin. Um, this liquid end is the hardener. I'm going to remove the clip and I'm just going to begin to push the resin up into the hardener until I break the burst seal bag a little bit. I'm going to lay it down and prepare to fully mix it, um, but first um, I'm going to prepare the pipe. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a small piece of sandpaper, emery cloth, whatever you have, um, just buff up around the actual surface, just clean it up a little bit, um, prepare it for the pipe seal. Make sure there's no excess residue. It's nice and rough. And that should be good. Okay, so now I'm just going to clip off the very end where the hardener is. I'm going to lay it down on my mixing surface and I'm just going to begin to firmly and slowly push that resin through the pipe seal packaging as it mixes with the hardener. It's really important to not use a porous mixing surface um, such as cardboard or otherwise that hardener can get absorbed into it and we need all of the hardener in order to thoroughly mix with our resin for the pipe seal to work correctly. So let me just emphasize one more time how important it is to get the hardener mixed thoroughly into the resin. Basically it's all in the mix. So right now I'm just thoroughly mixing the hardener into the resin. Um, fully preparing it. Just make sure you get all of that mixture completely smooth and thorough. Okay, so now I have the mix the way I want it. I'm just going to grab some of that pipe seal. And apply it to all sides. It doesn't really matter what it looks like at this point. You can sand it off later. Okay. And now I'm going to hit it with some heat. Okay, so um, I've grabbed a standard heat gun. Um, I'm now going to apply heat to the pipe seal product. I'm going to make sure that I get both ends of the pipe nice and hot, uh, a little bit underneath. Um, right now it has somewhat of a glossy finish and as that heat hits it, it's going to start to dull as it's curing and it begins to harden. I'm going to get that pipe nice and hot. And you can see that that finish is beginning, beginning to dull, it's losing its gloss. Okay, so now it um, has a completely dull finish, which means that it's uh, fully cured, nice and set up, and we're good to go. Okay, so we've let the pipe cool down. Uh, it's fully cured now. As you can see, it's solid as a rock. Uh, pipe seal works on aluminum, steel, copper, refrigeration lines, and it's highly chemical resistant. Pipe Seal has no VOCs, it's virtually odorless, and it's environmentally friendly. Okay guys, so as you can see, the whole process took maybe five minutes, and at this point you can crank up your system and you're good to go. And guys, if I can do this, you can do this. But if you do have any questions, you can look on our website and you'll find MSDS and data sheets. Yay! <laughs> it's like done, <laughs> good? Great, now I'm gonna remove the Pipe Seal from its packaging. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, that's why, so why is it a That's awkward. <laughs> You're right. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the pipe seal from its packaging. I'm just going to tear off the end. As you can see, uh, this gray part is going to be the resin. Uh, this little part is going to be the hardener. Don't. <laughs>